small Gegermüller counters like the Radex uh, cannot measure high doses above 10 microsievert per hour. So it's uh, important if you go to uh, really contaminated places to use other devices like this one. It's called LB123. It's manufactured by Bertold and it will measure dose rate but uh, it can measure dose rates as high as 1,000 microsievert per hour. So to use it you have first to connect the probe. This is a detector. To connect the probe to the uh, monitoring device. Um, be cautious not to broke the very small pins here when you try to connect it. Okay, so now the probe is connected to the equipment. You can use it, for example, like that. Here is the on-off button. You have to wait for a few seconds and it will immediately give you a dose rate. So, for example, if we check the dose rate on contact of this sample of contaminated soil, we see an increase and now we are measuring about 8 microsievert per hour and this dose rate will be smaller if we increase the distance between the contaminated sample and the probe. We are measuring now about 1 microsievert per hour. You also can uh, decide to make automatic measurements. You can use the other menu here. Go to number 10, call memory, and decide to clear the memory. Are you sure you want to clear? Yes. So now you have no information in the memory. And for example, if you want to check radiation somewhere, automatically, you go again to other many times. And when you have the possibility to select eight counter timer, you go to eight and start. And it will automatically measure gamma radiation for a length of time that we pre-selected, it's 100 seconds, and after 100 seconds it will make um, a record of the value and then it will make a new measurements, 100 seconds, and make a record of the new value, etc. So for example, using this uh, technique you can make many measurements and you can also study the variability of the, the values uh, during a, a certain period of time in case the radiation may change because of uh, contamination of the air that will change the gamma radiation in your environment. So when, you, when you're finished, you go through exit and then other, 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 10, call memory and display. And if you have values which have been recorded, you will see the values. And when you're finished, you go to exit. And in this mode, it's just measuring uh, dose rate um, instantly. You have a possibility to change here the sound. You can put a sound or use no sound. And when you're finished, you have to think to put this button on off. If you have a problem with batteries, it's easy to change them using a screwdriver. So this device can be used to check ambient radiation one meter above ground or 
on contact of various uh, surfaces or objects. And when you're finished, you have to cautiously do, do this and this and then you do, you do this.